Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm going to do a quick video on the Sims Confluence waders here. Before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell. Help us out there. If you got any questions, give us a call at the shop. Check out the website, tuckflyshop.com. Appreciate everybody watching. Um, so basically, Sims came out with this, uh, I think in 2023. And it is the Confluence waiter. It is on the higher end of the Torre spectrum. So um, this, this waiter comes in at $599. Uh, 95 from Sims and as you can see probably the biggest thing that stands out right off the bat is the knee pad that's built into the waiter this is a, a neoprene uh, knee pad so it doesn't move or anything like that I know some waiters in the past have had one that slides in from the back that you know will move around and maybe doesn't hit right where your knee is so this would be something if, if you're one of those guys that does a, little, does a little bit of crawling around or kneeling down when you catch a fish that may be something that you're you're excited about but Something to definitely you know try on and see how it fits when you kneel down if you, if you do come in the shop. The waiter itself has a four layer Torre on the bottom. It's their polycarbonate uh, Torre. And then it's got the stretch Torre four layer on the top. Um, comes with a nice wide wading belt um, that is adjustable. I actually had to adjust it down a little bit to kind of fit here on the waiter. You do have a zipper kangaroo pocket that reaches through. I'm gonna do both sides, um, which is nice. I actually like it when they're zippered because if you need to just throw something in there that you don't want to lose, it's uh, nice to have zippers on it so it doesn't fall out. But as you can see, you can go all the way through. It does have a little stretch, uh, waterproof or water resistant zipper on the top here. And this is kind of a nice lined pocket, so it might be something for your phone with the stretch in it. A couple uh, fly patch uh, locations here or tool hangers if you wanted to put some zingers or your hemostats, something like that if you wanted to hook on, if you wanted to go kind of minimalistic where you don't want to have a big pack or something, this may be a place where you could store some stuff and still be able to get the nippers, hemostats, a few flies, and then, you know, obviously toss some tippet or leader in the, in the pocket here. Um, they do give you a nice little flip out pouch here. So again, it's another place to put some tippet, leader, phone, keys, uh, things like this. If I remember right, I think this um, has the little, this one may not, I think on the G3, you get like a little key holder in it where you can clip your key into it, but I don't think that one has that. But you got another couple little Velcro things where you can Velcro something there if you wanted to. So again, it's kind of made that you do what you want to with it. This does come with the nice fabric uh, divider on, this, on the uh, waders, which that's kind of the same design that you get on like the G3 uh, waders that you see out there. So um, nice thing. In the back here, you do have the two different levels. So depending on where your waistline is and what fits you better and what's comfortable, you can move the belt up or down. Um, always wear your wading belt, safety. We actually got a, a good video on our channel about wader safety and what happens if you fall down and your waders fill up. Dell does a great job on that. It was actually kind of fun to film out on the tuck that day. So basically that's the wader just from you know the nuts and bolts of it. Um, you know, so if you got questions about it or wanna come by and try it on, uh, definitely give us a call, come by. Uh, I think as of right now, we're carrying these in our Bryson City location. I don't think we have them in the other two locations yet. So, um, you know, it's a newer waiter, something that you may or may not like, um, but definitely something to check out, try on, see what you think about these knee pads. You know, I kind of give honest reviews, so I'm not going to, I wonder how long that's going to last, depending on how much you kneel. You know, that's, that's probably my biggest worry about it. And I feel like, and don't quote me on this, because I checked the, the Sims website, I'm not 100% certain on this, but I feel like our rep did mention to us that these were, were uh, replaceable from the factory, like Sims could replace this if you sent it back. And that gives me the opportunity just to kind of mention the warranty and stuff. So Sims does a 60 days, no questions asked, uh, swap out on waiters if you have a leak on them. Because every waiter Sims builds gets leak tested at the factory before they send it out. So they feel extremely confident that you shouldn't have a leak in the first 60 days unless you do something really crazy with it. But it's 60 days, no questions asked. It's not a return for money. It's a return for a new pair of waiters. So um, make sure you understand that. Then they also have the 365 days, the repair is on them. So if you have anything happen that's you know outside of, you're not caring for the waiter property, like if you took a machete to it, they're not gonna repair that for you. But if like, you know, you slid down a bank and you got a leak in a seam or something like that, they're gonna repair that for you. After the 365 days from date of purchase, they do it's $60 to, re to repair waders again that are cared for properly so there are certain repairs on waders that can't be performed but if you care for it properly dry them out inside and out as you 
um, use them on a regular basis and you send them to Sims and it's a repair that they can fix. It's $60 that covers the return shipping. You have to pay for the shipping to send them out. They pay for the shipping to get them back to you. And unless it's something really crazy, it should be 60 bucks and you'll get, it, get your waders back repaired. So, and they do test them when they do the repair. Um, they do an assessment. And if you've never been to the Sims factory, um, I don't know if they've opened tours back up or not. We used to do it when we went to West Yellowstone, but then COVID kind of put a lot down. I think we could probably do it now, but they actually have this rack that's angled, and I forget the angle. They had a precise angle that they'd figured out where they went. And they put the waiter on this, and then they fill the waiter completely with water, and they hang it there for, I can't remember, a couple hours or four hours or something like that. And if there's any water in the bin at the bottom, then they know something's wrong with that waiter, and they will not send it out. So that's how they test them. Like, it's a good factual... If it's got a leak, it's going to show up when this thing's completely full of water to the top. It also puts the water pressure, the pounds per square inch, on all the seams to make sure that they are actually sewn correctly so they're not going to bust in time. So if you can imagine having probably a couple hundred pounds of water inside a waiter hanging on an angle that puts pressure on all the seams. It's a good way to test waiters. So anyways, the Sims Confluence waiter. Again, if you've got questions, come by, check it out. And as always, look forward to seeing you in the shop or on the water.